Let's talk about a few ways to bypass authentication. Now, I'm not going to speak from the top of my head, but actually use credible resources such as OWASP. And I'm also going to link to a great resource at the end. So stick with me. First off, in the Web Security Testing Guide or WSTG, we've got four ways that can be used to bypass the authentication schema in web applications. And these are direct page request or forced browsing, parameter modification, session ID prediction and SQL injection. Let's go through each of them. First off, direct page request, which is also known as forced browsing and is exactly what you're thinking it is. So let's say that you have a protected page such as an admin page, which you normally access after authentication via a login panel. When we're talking about forced browsing, the attacker seeks to exploit flaws in the application's authentication process by accessing functionality or data that is not properly protected by authentication controls. For example, an attacker may be able to bypass the login page of an application and access restricted content or functionality by directly accessing a URL that is not protected by authentication. In this case, by just going straight to slash admin via the URL. Number two, parameter modification. Now, this example is very explicitly explained, if I can put it that way, by OWASP in that the issue appears when the application verifies successful authentication via fixed parameters, such as authentication or authenticated equals yes, logged in equals true, or even more serious cases such as is admin equals true. Now, if the attacker can manipulate these parameters by tampering with the request itself, the consequences can be devastating. Number three, session ID prediction. Now, the majority of web apps use ID in different uh, shapes or forms, uh, such as cookies or tokens to actually authenticate requests. If these IDs are predictable, an attacker could guess a valid one, therefore manipulate the application to their desire. Now, from a personal experience and based on the 80 plus pen tests and AppSec assessments I've done in 2022 alone, this scenario is actually not very far from reality. I've seen session IDs, tokens and cookies of short length, which with a little bit of effort could be guessed via an uh, algorithmic analysis. And one good way to actually test this is actually using uh, Burp Suites' sequencer. Number four, SQL injection. Now, I believe this method has been widely explained throughout the years all over the internet. And I'm only going to briefly say that you can often bypass authentication by tricking the database, so to speak, via unsanitized input fields using payloads such as admin or one equals one. This statement verifies as true in all cases. Therefore, you're actually tricking the database and you are randomly being logged in or you are logged in as a random user or in this case, or in many cases as admin, depending on the way the application has been implemented. Now you can find a link with more payloads on GitHub, or you can simply use the intruders feature in Burp Suite, which also has a default payload list for SQL injection attacks. Alongside the four mentioned methods from OWASP, I'd also like to add two more. Number five, authentication bypass using default accounts. Now in this method, the attacker takes advantage of weak or easily guessed default credentials to gain unauthorized access to the app. For example, many applications ship with default accounts that have well-known usernames and passwords such as admin password, admin admin, root password, and so on and so forth. Attackers can exploit these accounts to gain access to sensitive functionality or data within the application. And I would actually suggest if you're using a default or if you're testing a default application or an application that has been made by a certain company and 
is actually used widely, you should actually test for default credentials. And number six, authentication bypass using weaknesses in password change or reset mechanisms. For example, many applications uh, allow users to change their passwords without requiring the current password for verification. Now, an attacker could exploit this weakness by changing a user's password without their knowledge and then gaining access to sensitive functionality or data as that particular user. Again, as strange as it may sound, in 2022, you can still see applications that do not implement password reset mechanisms properly. We've seen six ways that you as a penetration tester or AppSec specialist can use to test uh, in your projects and engagements. And as promised, I also like to mention the wonderful Git book called Hack Tricks, which is linked below and it gives you many more avenues to test against authentication bypass. Now, goodbye.